Starve was created by Brian Wood, Daniel Jalej, and Dave Stewart, and published by Image. I'm Rick Rich Dick, and I hope you guys are ready because Starve number one is about to get dicked. The artwork immediately throws you into the chaotic nature of this world and the main character's mind. The visuals, plus the inner monologue that describes the world, based on food, gives us a good indication of who our main character, Gavin Crookshank, is, if the name didn't give it away already. Unfortunately, the monologue spills over into the next pages where Gavin simply tells us who he is. Too much of a good thing gets you dead. Even when the writing falters, the images pick the book right back up. The sparse lines and omnipresent color scheme remind us we're here for the nitty gritty and promises there's more to come. So turn the page, keep reading, it gets better. And worse. By the middle of the book, Gavin is spilling his whole life story through thought boxes. I don't want that. I want to figure things out on my own. Where's the mystery? Dick! Gavin used to be a celebrity chef with a wonderful show called, you guessed it, Starve. You went AWOL, but the show carried on without him. Since then, the economy tanked everywhere. To meet the new jaded audience, Starve took on a new face and thrived. What was that new face? Grab a copy and find out. The network brought Gavin back from the depths of despair where he was loving life to run the show. On top of the stress of having his creative baby turned into a monster, he reunites with his estranged daughter and fights his should-be divorced wife. This book is worth picking up for the unique artwork and to see if this behind the times Occupy Wall Street story is right for you. Dick. It really doesn't have enough playing on it for me to continue the series, but the surprise at the end is worth the price of the first issue. I'm giving Starve number one a two on the rich side of the Richter scale because the premise and the artwork are solid, but the execution was too long-winded. Gavin has all the ingredients of a terrific character, but they let him simmer a little too long. Be sure to like and share this video, hit subscribe, but don't come back next week because we'll be on hiatus. But follow us on Facebook and Twitter to see what's going on and keep an eye out for more DICKED! Why are there seven Dragon Balls, but only six Infinity Stones?